Sure. Alan from the Miller and Allen Antique Shop with this incredible collection of music boxes. They're beautiful. Which is the oldest one, Bruce? Uh, this is the oldest type of music box. It's a little cylinder, pin cylinder, which plays on the tuned comb. Yes. And do you want it to go? Can we have a listen? Yeah. If we, could I tilt it up a fraction there so you can actually see right inside the mechanism going? It's incredible. Isn't that beautiful? What sort of year? Uh, that one would be a fairly late one of that style. It's probably about 1890. 1890? That but, is, uh, they started making them well before the in 1790s or something like really? that. Really? Now from there you said it progressed to this great big That's thing right. here. That's a polypon. Now this is, yeah, we'll just call it what? Polypon. A polypon. That's the right. Only We've got a slight problem here, you see, because some of these we can stop, so they're going to keep going while you're listening to the others. Now the other one had little fingers in it, whereas this one's got a big disc. That's right. That, uh, that disc still has the fingers underneath, yes. but um, there's pins on the bottom of the uh, disc which does the same uh, job except that it allows you to change the record mm. and put any tune that you would like on. We might just keep listening to this one for a second because you can't stop this one either, can you? Oh, we can lift the. Lift bar it? Oh, off. I think I'll even lift it. Have a They're beautiful thing. That sounds like a fairground sort of. That's the only way to stop that one. <laughs> All right. Now, the most unusual one here is this book, which is actually a photo album, isn't it? That's right, yes. How do we open it up this way? You can open it up that way. I'll and, you, my hand and, and you put, oh, I see, the photographs slip in there. You put, slide your photographs in each page. Let me just move this little one away for a second. It's making so much noise there. Can it stop? It should, it should have stopped. Oh, well, it just wants to keep going. I'll put it over there for a second so we can have a listen to this one. How did we start this one? Well, when you open the catch on the photo album, yeah. well, then the um, ah. tune starts to play. And it's a mechanism almost identical to that first small oh, it's box. It's in the back there. It's in the back of the uh, photo album. Isn't that clever? Wow. Can we stop that one? Well, we have. It will stop eventually. Eventually. <laughs> now that so we I... can shut him up. This one here, you say, is actually a toy. Child's toy, that's right. It's French and uh, made probably around about 1900. Yes, and it plays the Bell of New York. Yes, definitely. Isn't that clever? A little painting on the front of it. Yes, there's a little painting. You've just got to keep turning it. My favourite, though, has to be the silver box. Is that solid silver? No, that's silver plated, that one. Yes. But they did make them silver plated and sometimes even enamel. Uh, when Queen Victoria came to the throne, her favourite uh, uh, piece was a bird in a gilded cage, whereas yes. this one's a bird in the box. Isn't that beautiful? After the order of Fabergé. That's really gorgeous. And it closes on its own as well, which is what I like. You have to wait for the end of it. Just, whoops! <laughs> Missed him. All right, now, talking about the bird in the gilded cage, that's this thing here, is it? Yes, that was uh, Queen Victoria's favourite piece. And uh, we can start him off by turning the lever at the bottom. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, next to that, there's actually one which is a little more modern, but the same sort of idea, which is an alarm clock, isn't it? That's right. It's actually that, that bird ticking away that is actually the seconds ticking away. That's the seconds ticking away, and then the other little bird goes when the, um, when the alarm, alarm goes, goes off. And it doesn't want to go. You have to get the alarm to go. Be a nice way to wake up in the morning, wouldn't it? That's right. That one isn't very old. It's probably about 1960. Yes. It's fairly new, but you can see on the front of there how you can tell the time the on time. The, uh, the minutes on the top and the hours at the bottom. Yes, and that's another musical alarm next to it. That sort was made from 1880 till about 1920. This one's probably about 1910, 1912. Yes. We'll stop that one there first. Ah, that's a handy one. We can study. Yeah, this one here, if we can just get the turn alarm these to around. Yeah. That plays Daisy and uh, After the Ball. Really? The two tunes it plays, and if you left it going, it'll go for a full hour. <laughs> really? <laughs> can you turn it off? Because talking about Daisy, we've got to turn around to this giant, if I can put that there so we can close this down and have a look behind. This, believe it or not, is another music box. What's it called? A symphonium. Uh, symphonium is the same type as the previous polyphon. Yes. Um, 
the symphonium was the first one made and then the polyphon actually copied off them a couple of years later. Could we open this but, up? Yes. They were so um, expensive an instrument yes. that uh, most people couldn't afford a household one like that. So um, they were in all the fun parlours and quite often in the pubs and places like that. Ah. And they operated off a penny in the slot. So this is a commercial one? That's right. Now, um, your penny goes in the side here and you might be able to see on the uh, with the TV camera as the penny goes in and land in that slot yes. and it'll actually, the mechanism will open that up and drop the penny out. Well if you put one in, we'll have a close look over there, you'll see the coin drop and you'll see the stone. Whoops, there it goes. Isn't that gorgeous? We might have a listen to that, Bruce. Thank you very much for bringing these up.